So I'm at the Guildhall at the Association of Charitable Foundations seminar on social media with Toby Bloom from the Urban Forum. Um, and Toby, you were doing a presentation about the way you use social media, the way the Urban Forum uses it, and some lessons for charitable foundations. So what do you think are the key messages? Um, well, I would say to dive in and have a go, experiment, find the kind of platforms and tools that are right for you. Uh, be prepared to engage, collaborate, interact. It's the social in social media that adds value. Um, don't get too hung up on kind of creating a managerial bureaucracy around it. It really is about um, diving in and seeing what happens. Uh, and um, have fun, you know. Be yourselves and, and, and don't, don't kind of uh, be scared of showing personality to people um, that actually other people want to engage with. Okay. I mean, there were one or two people here who were saying, well, we're a small organisation, we don't have the time for this sort of stuff. I mean, you're exactly in that position yourself. I mean, what would you say to people who's... who's, who's yeah, uh, I think the key thing is um, that old adage of garbage in, garbage out, you know? If you put something in, if you invest some time, uh, into social media, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, whatever, you'll find you get more out of it. So, you know, you have to start by dipping your toe in the water and, and testing out a few things and seeing what's the right platform for you. But um, be prepared to give it a go. Uh, and if you can, if you can carve out a bit of time. The other thing I'd say is it's it's about allocating your time differently. So, you know. You can cut down on reading those reports that land on your desk. You can cut down on the daily email bulletins. You can stop reading a newspaper if you want. All of that content is coming through much more rapidly in real time if you, say, allocate the same amount of time you'd spend doing that to engaging with social media. Okay. And I think a big, thing, a big point about all this is about storytelling. And I think organisations like Charitable Foundations have stories to tell. Um, and it's how we get those stories out there. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the things that Trust and Foundations in particular can do is to really add value to the, the projects that they're funding and supporting because, you know, although they might be small or they might be large, um, actually they have tremendous kind of reputation and brand and they can command huge uh, audiences. So although, you know, we're not talking about broadcast, we're talking about communication, collaboration and, and interaction, actually there's ability to amplify the stories and the, and, and the activity the fantastic work that community groups projects are doing on the ground without you know with very little additional cost so i think that's something that, that uh, trust and foundations are uniquely well placed to do and it really could add tremendous value to the the work that they're already funding and the commitment they're already making to those organizations okay that's great thank you very much cool.